<laughs> the right hand are out of Peru. <laughs> she said, Hey, what's up, bitch? I'm your new dealer. It was Susie. Susie did a fine job. I leave the tables up 150 bucks. Next thing you know, she's pissed when I'm leaving. <laughs> said Susie, you can find me in room 31466. <laughs> we can settle this. <laughs> 31644. <laughs> Is she looking for the wrong room then? <laughs> <laughs> Laboratory smoke detectors. Our flights have to Las Vegas today. It's three hours and 50 minutes. Welcome to Las Vegas. Hey, ladies, is this your first day on the job? Or you don't know what the is going on. <laughs> Money out here. The rest of you bitch better at 11:45 because you're broke. <laughs> First night at the casino, uh, someone argued roller coaster. I would say I was going, yeah, roller coaster. We rally show up though, 50 on black, miss, pissed. Riley goes to play ten dollar blackjack. Poor me, <laughs> idiot. Dealer's horrible. I stay at the roulette table. I rack up and I'm probably. Whatever. Nick Reed's in my head. Hey, financial advisor, this is my name. <laughs> Nick Reed, put it all on red. Yeah, lose him. Lose like 150 in a spin. So I'm down again. I'm down, I'm down like 110 at this point. Go cash my tickets to Austin put in for me. Back up like. I'd probably back to even, go to the blackjack table, throw, throw 50 in. I was getting just absolutely murdered by this one dealer. She was, she said she was from like Ethiopia or something. <laughs> Didn't ask. <laughs> so anyway, she's from Ethiopia. Just absolutely ripping my pockets apart. <laughs> Next thing you know, God comes to the table himself with the reliever. The right hand are out of Peru. <laughs> she said, hey, what's up, bitch? I'm your new dealer. It was Susie. Susie did a fine job. I leave the tables up 150 bucks. Next thing you know, she's pissed when I'm leaving. <laughs> said Susie, you can find me in room 31466. We can settle this. 31644. <laughs> She's looking for the wrong room, man. This is the look of a man who's up $100 already. Never forget it. Welcome to Vegas, baby.
got you, man. Gang, gang. FaceTime, FaceTime, FaceTime. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I call it Sacagawea's Backspine. <laughs> Check it out. You got away with it. Sacagawea's Backspine. First time seeing it, man. Frank! <laughs> Nat Geo. Nat Geo. Um, this view just has a... This view has a way to, to turn some feelings around. Actually, it was teams of four. Chris was all around third base. Uh, Tyler, Mo, and Nick were on one team. That's his name, yeah. Uh, Matt, Riley, and I were on the other. We uh, we lost by one. So, uh, all around good day. Now it's tomorrow. And we're live. We're live. Wow. Matt Handy. You've been called God's righteous man on this trip. What do you say to that? I'm not happy, man. <laughs> Why aren't you happy, man? Why did you hear about the whipple ball game? I heard about it. I was at it. Where? <laughs> oh, son of a freaking god. <laughs> oh, I'm Matt, not happy. Matt, Matt, let's calm down. <laughs> You've been called God's righteous man on this trip. <laughs> what do you say to that? Do you say that's true? <sighs> Look, I just want to say we put we put in a lot of work in the offseason. We'll be back. <laughs> Talking about wiffle ball again, I assume. We never left the top of it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought for sure I was gonna have a walk-off grand slam, but uh, I just want to—I just want to interject. We only had one person on base. <laughs> yeah, and if I can go back to the question, can we fact check God's that? righteous man? Can we fact I'm check? Kidding. I'm pretty sure we had three on, two out. Why don't you hold these grips? You can call God's righteous man on this trip. It doesn't fit in my diet. Doesn't fit in my diet. Like I said, I'll be back next year. We're still on uh, with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> this guy doesn't get it, does he? We never left the topic of with the ball. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Matt, any, any closing statements about uh, your, your you new won't see me. You won't see me till next season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're glad to have him in studio. He's been called God's righteous man. No. It is, and we're glad to have you. Okay. <laughs> happy, to, happy to... So Chris, what's the towel symbolize? I just got out of the shower and uh... <laughs> well, can we see those luscious locks? My hair's a little <laughs> wet, okay? We'd love to see it. Why My don't hair's you a little wet, off? okay? <laughs> because Chris, there's been rumors going around on the... I don't want to take it off! Okay. We'll ask you another question, Chris. It's for sure, yeah. We... We heard that you like drinking games. What's your opinion on drinking games, Chris? <laughs> oh, he's gone. Before we start, <laughs> uh, just wanted to put a little emphasis on this, on this right here. Oh, what's it say? Be kind. Be kind, that's great. Do you live by that motto? 
I try to. Okay, and what's your opinion on Juice World? <laughs> Because he's put out quite a few I just want to know, albums posthumously. I just want to know if we're ready and we are mature enough to have this conversation. Juice World has produced more number one hits since he has died than when he was alive. Oh, that's wild. That's crazy. Man. I did some research on this, Tyler. Oh, okay. I was prepping for this interview. He has released 45 songs since he has been 45. There. 45 songs, two full albums. That's unbelievable, Nick. And uh, they're claiming... Who? I don't know. <laughs> well, that's the question, isn't it? I don't freaking know. They're that's claiming, the though. They have two, they're sitting on a 2,000 song. A 2,000 song. At your own Unreleased. <laughs> 2,000 <laughs> unreleased <laughs> records. That's unbelievable, Nick. <laughs> and I, I don't know that we're mature enough to have that conversation, but I'm glad you brought it up. What's your opinion on fold over? What goes on them? <laughs> Topping wise, of course. Um, I'm a little out of the park on this one. I, I prefer honey. Honey and peanut just, butter. Okay. On on a, on a on one slice of honey wheat bread, folding it over. Sure. And where's where's the jelly go? I leave the jelly off, Tyler. Well, that's that's unbelievable. It is. That's more unbelievable than the 2,000 songs that Juice World is about to release. Posthumously. Posthumously. <laughs> I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can on that one, Tyler. Well, we're glad to have you in. Um, you know, warts and all. We're glad to have you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Yep. He's not dead. <laughs>
Enjoy, folks. Sorry about that little slip out here. Here we are in Dawson. Dawson, what are your thoughts going on today? Uh, what are my thoughts? Uh, great walk so far. Water is frigid. Uh, can't seem to get my footing. Falling over all the time. Uh, you know, it's just a great day all around. Sounds pretty miserable. Buddy, now we're going to go to a vlog with the guy who's maybe had the worst day on the trip so far due to extreme sunburn, possibly going to die from sunburn. Chris, how are we doing today? That's how we're doing. That's how we're doing. Burnt city. Crispy. Well, today we hiked at the Narrows. Good hike all around. Ankles are destroyed, all right? Just rocks everywhere. Mo, uh, Mo's been the only one to fall so far, although I have been trooping this number. Strap. Tore my ACL. Bit of butter sandwiches for uh, the lunch there. Uh, you know, all around great day. Well, <laughs> we just got home from our trip, uh, the bachelor party. Great time, uh, great guys, we had a lot of fun. We had a um, pretty unique experience out there. Got to see all kinds of fun things over the span of last week. Uh, we just got back a little while ago. Everyone is ready to be sleeping in their own beds and um, ready for the wedding on June 24th, so we're very excited for that. Um, just wanted to thank Tyler, especially my brother, for setting up this whole trip and doing the planning processes with it. Um, had a great time. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. We do want you guys to comment down below if you have any questions about our adventures or if you guys have any recommendations about places we should visit for our next trip. Hope you guys are doing well and always keep exploring. See you guys on the next one.